Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily extract the climate data with Google Earth Engine using Google Colab and how we can easily create this type of chart. In the chart, I included maximum temperature, minimum temperature, and mean temperature. Using this process, you are able to do any types of time series chart, use of any data set in Google Earth Engine. So let's go, I will try to explain all of those from step by step. Then I hope you can easily get that idea. So first of all, we need to import some important library, such as pandas, numpy, Shefley, Earth Engine, and Date Time. So all of library simply import in Google Colab and run it. After that, just simply authenticate. Authenticate mainly it just checking with your Google Earth Engine account with email you want to register. Just simply. Uh, connect with the Google Colab. After that, just use here the initialize. Initialize mainly you need to include your project name. So in this case, this is my project name. So you can easily check the project name in Google Colab. Uh, in your Google Art Engine code editor, you can easily find out. And if you don't have any types of uh, cloud project, just simply create and then just use the cloud project name in here. After that, we simply choose our uh, coordinate. Okay, coordinate mainly. Uh, longitude and latitude value we need. So for that you can simply click on the Nespero tab and click on your specific place. Then we can easily find out that longitude and latitude for a specific place. So this longitude and latitude we can easily find out in Google Earth Engine. So for that from here just simply input in your geolocation. Basically uh, longitude and latitude value just put in here. Then we simply just take the two variable x and y and then we simply mention in here coordinate 0 and 1 0 mainly it's a longitude 1 mainly it's a latitude we just store it in the x and y after that which data set you want to work it's very important in this time i want to work with this data set it's the ecmwf i want to use the monthly average data so this data set i want to use in here and it's available from 1950 Okay, and if you check, there are a lot of bands are available. So first of all, you define your resolution. This is the resolution you can see, 11,132 meters. So just I simply put the scale, the scale is the 11,132 meter, and then define the start date and end date. So I want to need the data suppose from 2000 to 2025. So this time frame I want to need, and which types of variable I want to need. So in this case, I need suppose minimum temperature, air temperature, then average air temperature, then maximum air temperature I need. And this type of band already available in here. So if you also check it, the temperature, two meter, okay, average, minimum, maximum, not only for that, there's a lot of uh, information we can easily find out from all of band. So this one you need, just simply put this band name, okay, variables, mainly it's a band name. Then we just location point, we just create the geometry point, e dot geometry dot point, and define the x and y okay and then this is our image collection ecm wf er5 monthly so this image collection we want to use in here and select the all variables select variables mainly it's a band name okay all of band i need the minimum two meter height air temperature i also need maximum and also need the average so just i simply store it in this variable variables all of bands and then filter with a specific time period just filter and then we just simply data get get region location point okay just we simply extract all of data frame okay using the pandas library just make the data frame and this data frame we including the data all of data and then if you check the data head so you find out the one column is stored the date then id then longitude value latitude value as well as find out that you can see the minimum temperature maximum temperature so all of value you can easily find out in here but in this case it take this type of problem I think some mistake in here so just I think it make the mistake in here for uh, latitude 
and longitude value let me just check it just run the code and also run and also create the data and finally check the data frame so now we find out the value you can see okay so now it also show the value so i think first one is that uh, this 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 one is for latitude and this one is for longitude okay first value will be latitude value second value will be longitude value okay just we keep this type of value so then we can easily find out all of data frame so this thing you can also export as a csv file or if you want you can also make the matplotlib just make the uh, plot and display the result so in this case we simply display the all of result for maximum temperature minimum temperature and average temperature and we can create this type of time series chart which represented the maximum temperature minimum temperature and average temperature different different color so this is the one way to make the time series chart or extract any data okay using the google earth engine help of google collab help of different types of python library so this way you can also apply for other data set and further face any problem you can simply comment in this comment section in the meantime i also give you an announcement for our coming online training program so basically this class will be start from uh, 11th april and now our registration is open okay so now this is now open so you can easily join my live training program and learn all of those from beginners to advanced level so basically in this online training program you will learn all of those uh, from beginners to advanced level and if you have no knowledge about the coding mainly python or javascript or if you have no knowledge about the google earth engine don't worry about that in this online training program you are able to do any types of remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently okay so you can check all of course syllabus and also check the schedule basically we take the class for two days uh friday and saturday in a week total seven days and each day mainly four hours mainly three hours for the live training one hours for the problem solving class so all of things you can simply check from this website so i also check uh attach the website link in the video description simply check it and you can get all of benefits okay when you join my live training program so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe